Hi everyone and welcome to our Friday Family Prayer and Devotions. Great that you can join us as we start our All Age Weekend with prayer and our family devotion tonight, followed by our movie night tomorrow at 4.30 and our All Age service at 10.45 on Sunday. So we're going to be watching Paddington 2 tomorrow and then on Sunday we're going to be talking about God's love for us and how we should love others because of that love for us. And tonight we're going to start with a short video and a chance for you at home to think about God's love that never fails. Some days everything is great. You wake up and enjoy your favourite breakfast. You arrive at school and the teacher loves your work. You're unbeatable in the playground games. Some days everything is great. Some days everything is terrible. Your toast burns. You're late to school and the dog ate your homework. And even if the teacher didn't keep you in, no friends want to play with you. Some days everything is terrible, horrible, no good and very bad. Whatever the day, the Lord's love never fails. The Bible says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord's love never fails. His compassion is new on the great mornings. We easily remember his great love on great days when the sun shines, we're having fun and everything is going our way. His compassion is new on those great days. The Lord's love never fails. His compassion is new every morning. His compassion is also new on the terrible days. The Bible said, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail, when enemy armies surrounded them. The Bible said, They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, when there was no food to eat and no hope of escape. Even in the darkest places, the Lord's love never fails. Even on the hardest days, God's compassion is new every morning. The cross of Jesus was the darkest day. The daytime sky went black as Jesus died. On the darkest day, we see the Lord's love not failing. He was loving us. Jesus was dying for our sins so we could live forever with him. On the morning of the darkest day, God's compassion was new for everyone who trusts him. The Lord's love never fails. Some days will be great. On great days, we easily remember the Lord's unfailing love is new every morning. Some days will be terrible. On terrible days, we must remember the Lord's unfailing love is new every morning. Whatever the day, the Lord's love never fails. So wonderful to pray and talk together this evening. So the Bible talks about things sometimes that are new. And the verse that we have looked at tonight reminds us that God's mercies are new every morning. 
Now, new things aren't always better than old things. But what I love about a new day that begins or a new job that I'm starting or being part of a new team or starting a new term at school is that when I start something new, I'm given a new chance, maybe a second chance to do something I've not done before. So it might be a chance to learn something new. It might be a chance to grow. It might be a chance to love others. It might be a chance to forgive. So the beginning of the day tomorrow, when you wake up, there'll be lots of things that you do to start your day. So one of the things you might do to start your day is you might wash your face. And as you wash your face and you splash water on your face, why not thank God for that new day? It might be that you spend time combing your hair. You can see that I spend loads of time combing my hair. I hear some laughter there, I think. But anyway, OK, you might, not like me, you might spend some time combing your hair. There are lots of things that you might do. Here's one thing that I definitely do every day is I put on a pair of socks. So when you're putting on a pair of socks, why not thank God that this is a new day and it's a new chance for me to love God and to love others. So let's praise God right now and say thank you to him for new starts every day of our life. What a great opportunity to thank God. So why not now just spend some time in prayer thanking God for every new day. So thank you, Lord, for every new day. Thank you for rest and for shelter, for health and for food. Thank you for friends and for family. Thank you for challenges and for opportunities to learn. May each day be filled with love and may we know that you are always near. Amen. So have a great weekend and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday for our movie night tomorrow and on Sunday for our all age service. Take care. Goodbye.